improvements that have been made recently with a new script that can simplify the process of dumping your Xbox One as games. well as backing up your save and files. other useful files from the console. So we're going to be taking a look at how to dump your Xbox One Using the One collateral game. damage exploit. With this new method, which is much, much easier technically, it's been possible to dump your game files for quite a while. Using the exploit, except it's required a hell of a lot and of And it steps. just becomes a bit too overcomplicated. And I didn't feel like making a guide really on it. Really made sense at that point. But it's now being simplified to the point where it's now much, much easier to dump your game files. So that's what we're going to cover here in this Especially video. Especially since we now have a translation layer called xwine one which can actually allow you to run some Xbox of your one game dumps on a windows pc so that is one new development it's actually possible to run some of your game it's dumps still now. in the early process of development so it's really just simple games that will run at the moment using y1 but we want to get as many people as possible to be dumping their games so that we can preserve those xbox one games for the future as well as also help in furthering the development of this translation layer to get more xbox one games running on PC using this method so and at the moment the only way to actually dump is to use Xbox the collateral damage exploit so there's okay. quite a few things we need to establish before we first get of started. all you need to have the collateral damage set up exploits. with the game script app obviously if you don't already have the game script app on your at this Xbox point it's one. too late to do this and of course, if you don't have the collateral damage exploit I set up I do have yet. a full tutorial that shows you how to set so that up. So you need to make sure you have that Before ready. moving on to this video. But I'll leave a link to my full guide on how to set up the Down exploit. in the video description. So that you can get set up. To this point now, in order to actually dump it your Xbox game. It requires an games. exploit in a save file for Warhammer Vermintide 2. So you do need to have a copy of the Warhammer game. Warhammer Vermintide 2 installed. Now, if you only have a disc copy of the game like I do. Do. Then you're only able to dump your digital games. So any digital Xbox One or Xbox 360 games you will be able to dump installed. using Warhammer Vermintide 2. Your disc copy, but you will not be able to dump any disc versions of your Xbox One games because you of can't course. have both discs inserted at the same time. So the best possible scenario would be if you be actually have a digital copy of Warhammer tied Vermin to already installed that you bought previously on your console, then you're in a great position because you can dump not only digital games, but games. also your disc games as well. Any disc Xbox One games that can run offline, you'll be able to dump them using this so yeah. That would be the best case scenario. But for scenario. most people, I think you'll probably end up with a disc And then copy. you'll only be able to dump digital any. games that you have already installed on your Xbox One. So those are the limitations at those the moment. Those are the prerequisites for the setup. So let's go ahead and get into actually setting this so up. So I'm basing this guide from consolemods.org. This guide here, so I'll leave it linked down in the video description. We want to go down here and download the Xbox One game dumping Version pack. to point 1.zip or the latest version here. We also want to download the .NET 6.0 binary for Windows. We're going to download that as well. And finally, we also need to download PowerShell 7 point to point 3. So you'll find the download I'll here. leave them linked in the description for the .NET SDK. PowerShell version 7.2, point 3, and of course the uh, link to the dumping pack as well. We'll all be down in the video description. We need to go ahead and format a USB drive. So plug drive. a USB drive into your computer. And back up any data that was on it previously. And then right click and reformat the drive. So go to format and then we want to select the file system as NTFS. And then just make sure you have it formatted in NTFS format here. And then from there, we're going to go into the USB drive. Extract the Xbox One game dumping pack to your computer. And then go into that folder. And then from here, we're going to go into the copy to USB flash drive folder. And take all the files inside here. And drag and drop them and copy them to the root of the USB so drive. So once okay. we have all the files copied over to the USB drive. We're then going drive. to open up the .NET SDK. And we're going to highlight all of the files in here. And drag and drop them into the .NET folder on the USB drive. Just want to copy all of them. This will those. take a while. This is a lot quite of different big. files in here. So just give this a few minutes to complete. Okay. So Have now all we of the .NET files copied into the .NET folder. We're going to do the same thing with PowerShell. So we're going to open up the PowerShell zip file. Highlight everything in here. And we're going to copy that over to the PWH folder. So extract PowerShell to PWH and get that copied over. It's important that you are downloading the PowerShell version. That is for Win-X60 for .zip. 
and not any of the other Windows versions of PowerShell OK. There we go, so now PowerShell has been copied into the Porch folder. So you want to make sure that you've loaded Warhammer. Vermin tied to at least once. So that you've created a save file. So you've gone into the campaign. So it's created a save file automatically. That we will be replacing with our exploit code. So make sure you've done that first. Then we want to make sure we're also connected Obviously, to a network. Obviously, we don't want to connect to the which internet. Which would patch the exploit and force you to update. So you want to make sure that you're connected to an offline network. That your computer and your Xbox are connected to the All same network. All of that network. is covered in my main exploit For setting up the collateral damage which exploit. will be linked down in the video description if you haven't already got everything set so up so at this point we can go back into the xbox one we game can run the pack. game script reverse show remote dot bat to load the exploit this will run the server as well as the listener for our remote shell then if we head back onto the xbox we're gonna run the game script application and then make sure you have the collateral damage exploit set up in here you also want to make sure that you have the host IP address, the IP set address of your computer on the network. So make sure that you have your computer's IP address entered in and here. And then from there, we can hold down X and press RB to go down to Windows. And then scroll down to Show Code. Run Window and press A on Run Code once. And that will try and load the exploit. And then you're just gonna wait for, hopefully, something to appear here. So we should get a connection request on the server. And then hopefully if the exploit loads successfully, we'll get the remote shell so this can take several attempts to run. You may have to reboot the Xbox a couple of times if it fails. And yeah, you just gotta keep trying until we get this running. Once we get this running once, we can actually use the, the new, new script menu script to actually swap out the exploit with a more reliable version, which we will be doing and oh. There we go, connection request. We've got our listener and yeah. There we go, success, so that was actually it quite It sometimes lucky. takes several attempts for that to work. But as you can see, we now have our reverse so shell. So we're all set up here. The next step is to run the PowerShell. So make sure you have the USB drive plugged into the Xbox at this time. And we're going to do D colon backslash the WSH to run PowerShell. So we're going to press enter and that should run the PowerShell. There we go. Version 17.3.4 and there it is. So at this point, we want to run the menu script that is going to automate everything for so us. So we're going to do dot backslash run dot ps1 and press enter. Now, if you run into this particular error, sys cannot sign the file because the system does not support signing operations. What you want to do is use this command, which here. I will leave in the video description. Just enter this command, copy and paste it from the description of this video in and here, and press enter. And then once that's done, we can re-enter the previous command and press enter, and that should run the menu. So here we go. This is the automated system that's gonna allow us to do things much more efficiently. So at this here. point, there's a few things we want to do recommend using option U to upgrade the game script. Reverse shell from remote to local. The remote version that we've just been using that uses the server to send the file is pretty unreliable compared to the local version, which will copy the files to the internal storage and it will run them from there. So the next time you load the exploit, it will be a lot more stable, a lot more reliable, less likely to run into problems. So make sure you do that first. So uppercase U, press enter and, and that will say, please enter your PC's IP address. So if you don't know what that just is, just open up a command prompt and type in IP config. And grab the IP address of your computer on the same network that the Xbox is connected to. So in my case, 9 to dot one seven dot to dot one nine to dot so one six enter eight, that in here one eight, eight, eight and then press one enter seven. and that should do it. There we go. Please close and reopen game script. Now press enter to return to menu. So I'll press enter to return to menu. I'm not going to close and reopen the game script because at we're the still all right. Good to get things set up for dumping. This now means that whenever you want to load the in exploit future, again, you're going to want to run the game script. Reverse shell dot bat instead of the remote version. So always run the reverse shell version. Now that we have the local version of the exploit installed. So the next thing we're going to do is select option no. Once to mount And press storage. enter and get that going. There we go. Press enter to return to menu. OK. So then we want to use option three to back up our licenses. So option three, press enter. 
So there we go, license is backed up. Press enter to return to menu. Then we want to enter option six, which is to back up the license state. So we're gonna do that, press enter. Now this one can actually take some time. So you're gonna have to wait a little while for this to complete. So it gets to 100%, but the last time I it did It was stuck this. at 100% for about two minutes, okay? There we go, so once it's Press done, enter to continue. And that's copy to the D drive. Press enter to return to menu. And there we go, so. Some optional things you can do right that now. I would probably recommend is option to no. To back up two. your save files. Backing up your registry no for and backing up your NAND number five. You can do this if you don't already have backups of They're these. not required for the actual dumping of games, but it is just a good idea to have a backup of Especially your save if files. If you want to modify your save files in future. For now, we can then move on to the next step, which is to use option I to inject the exploit script into the Vermintide to save file. So we're gonna use option I for that and press enter. Enter your PC's IP address again. So mine was 1968.178 and we'll press enter, enter the port. It says default is 8 to 3, so we'll just use the default 1, one 8. 2, press enter, and there we go. That is now injected. The modified save file into Verminite to for dumping the game. And that is now complete and finally. We're gonna use option 1 to unmount the storage. Now that we have got that modified save file on there. So enter option 1 and press enter, and that will unmount successfully. And we can press enter again to return to the menu. So at this point, we're ready to dump the game. So in order to do this, we need to select what type of game we we're dumping. We can see in the dumping options here. We've got load Xbox One slash series digital license. Um. We've also got a disc license. We also have Xbox original or three. So let's say we were doing a digital so game. So I would select option seven. Press enter and then this will give me all of the available licenses for all the games I have so installed. So if I had a digital copy of say Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel, I would enter option three as the game I want to dump and press enter. And then it would give me all of the necessary information including the SID, which is the content ID, which you are going to want to copy, and as you can see here, it says no matching key found, that's because this not a is digital a digital game, game, so that's why that failed. But if you have a digital game, that should work successfully, and you want to just copy the content ID here as well, and take a note of that now if we're dumping a disc game. Uh, let's say I was trying to dump a disc a game. I've got a CTR Nitro Field Enter. I've got the disc inserted in my console right now. Then I would use option A to dump that game. A disc copy and will press enter. And you can see here it is loading the license file. Um, so if you had a digital game before, this is what it I would have done. I presume so as you can see it. This was a success. Because I've got the disc inserted and it gives me the content Which again ID. is the same CID that we got uh, from the digital game. So you want to take a note of that right click and copy so it. highlight it. Right click to copy it so that you have a copy of the content ID. Because that is very important. So at this point, what we're going to do is go back into our Xbox One game dumping pack. We're going to go into the to dump folder here. And inside here, we're going to open up the stage to .lua file. So right click and edit that in notepad. Two things we want to change in the here. The server IP. We want to enter the IP address of our computer again in here. Which for me again was to .17. So enter that in there next. We want to go to the local target XVD path. And we want to change the content ID in here. With the one that we just copied. For the game that we want to dump. So we're going to enter that Whether there. you got that from the SID. From the digital game that you're trying to dump or the disc game. If you used option 8, copy that content ID in there and then press Control S to save. And you should be good to go there, okay? And at this point, if we go back into the, the dumping The last path, thing we want to run is the Warhammer dump game dot So we're going to double click on this and allow this to run. And you may get multiple firewall prompts saying, do you want to allow, allow access to it? You can just say yes. So this opens three command We're listening windows. on three ports. So if we switch back over to our console once more, we should be all good to go here. So all we're going to do is just press the Xbox button here and go down to Vermintide to end launch it. So once we get to the press A to start, so press A to start game as soon as we press it. It's gonna load the exploit on the save file. 
So we press A and the game should just freeze at this point. Cause it's loading the exploit instead of loading a proper save file. And now file. all we do we is- We wait for some data to appear in one of these listeners. Which will then allow us to see if it's loaded successfully. If we've set everything up successfully, so nope. There we go, yep, there it is right there. We can see some information popping now, up. Now, as you can see, in my case, it's failed, and unfortunately, I don't have any games that I'm able to dump because I have. I only have a disc copy of Warhammer Vermintide Which only allows me to dump digital games. And I don't have any digital games installed on this Xbox, one. so unfortunately. There's nothing I can actually dump to demonstrate this completely. But you can see it started the process of trying to dump it. The it. only thing it failed on was with the license file up. So you can see here the X cred mount failed with error because the disc is no longer inserted. That has the license on it and the files so unfortunately I'm not able to go but any further. But you can further. see it was attempting to dump the game there. And what you should see, if you do have a game that you actually can Then dump, what you should see if you go into the two dump folder is it should create a TX folder in here. I'm a bit concerned that there isn't a TX folder Hopefully already in it here. Creates Otherwise, it you. you might have to actually create it first before running at the bad file. But what it should do is it should go into the TX folder and it should dump all of the game files in here. And you should be seeing in some of these other command windows. You should be seeing the progress showing each file that is being copied and eventually you'll get all of the game files dumped in here and then what i would recommend doing once is it's finished dumping all of the game files into this into, folder you should make a backup of that folder and dump the game a second time just to make sure that they are the same i generally you want to make sure that you know you take at least two dumps of the game to make sure all of the files were copied over successfully so that is the process of dumping your xbox i One felt games. like it was important to make this video despite the fact that i a lot no. of people will not be able because to Because do they this. don't have the game script app on. Or they don't have Vermintide 2 or a digital or any copy. games that they can actually dump with a physical copy of so Vermintide 2. So it's still 2. pretty limited in what you can actually Depending dump. Depending on your situation uh, with the Xbox bug. Because there's so few people out there that are actually capable of dumping Xbox Using game, this method, I feel like it's important to try and get as many that people that actually do have the ability to do this uh, dumping their games. So that we can preserve Xbox One games into the future. And having more game dumps available should aid in the efforts of improving the translation layer. X11 for running your Xbox One games on a Windows PC. Which would also be a great benefit for the community. So hopefully it helps some people out. And can help get more games dumped for the future. And of course, huge props to all of the developers involved in simplifying the dumping process and creating the script for allowing us to easily back up all of the necessary stuff from our Xbox. And hopefully this can be expanded for making things like easier. installing emulators and homebrew in the near future. So anyway, that's it for this Hope one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found if the you information did, please useful. Please leave a like and subscribe.